Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies. In this CAD Power video, I'm going to show you a tool with which you can annotate lengths and areas from objects and assign them to a text object. Under the annotation tools, we have two items here. One is called Create Update Length Annotation and the second one is Create Update Area Annotation. Both these commands are very similar. Let us look at how they work. The first one is for length annotation and what it does is it allows you to pick a linear object like a line, polyline, arc, circle or a spline and annotate its length as a text object. When you start this command the first prompt is select a segment of line or polyline or S for settings. So let us type S and get into the settings. The first option here is property to annotate which by default is length in this case. The other option is area. The second parameter is what part of polyline length to annotate. Picked segment or full length. So when you pick a polyline you have an option of either labeling only the segment or the full length. This option here is to modify the length or area which means if you are working with feet and you want to report the area or length in meters or any other unit then you must click on this option. For example if you click here you can see there are some preset conversions of units or if you also go down here there are some arithmetic operators which means you can scale the length by a factor either increase decrease add some value subtract a value and so on. So let us choose the default for now we won't modify the length and this option is to append length to an existing text so let me switch that off as well the text height is 250 so select a segment I'm going to select this as a segment so you can see that it has calculated its length as 9100 so select text object or enter to create a new one so if you have an existing text object with which you want to update its length you can just click an object so for example I want to update this so I just click here and that becomes 9100 so this 9100 is the length of this line now let us do it the other way so I'm just going to do an undo and run this command again so I go to settings and I'm going to choose the option append length or area to the existing text. Here you need to specify a delimiter by default it is a comma you can change it the way you want it so I select this and I select this so now what has happened is the length of this line has been appended to this text so you get 9b75a comma 9100 now this is quite useful for many users because they would like to capture the ID and the length in a text like this and then it's easy to export this to a CSV file which can be opened in Excel. That is one of the most common workflows or requirements many CAD drafters use while detailing and in quantity takeoffs so we have provided this option. Now let us look at some other ways in which you can use this command. So I go back to length annotation I pick this line so the length is 2550 so in the first case we selected an existing text object but there is an option here called or enter to create new text so I'm going to press enter so it will ask you to insert the new text point so I'm going to pick this point and you can see that it's already it has created a new text so with this tool you can either update the length and assign it to an existing text or you can calculate the length and create a new text out of it. Now this is another drawing in which I have more samples. So I'm going to go to annotation, go to settings. So in this case we need the text height to be smaller so I'm going to make it 10. Now what part of polyline you want to annotate? I'm going to choose this option which is segment length. So I've selected this polyline and the annotation length is 65.38. So I'm going to create a text here which is the annotation length for this segment. Now instead if I had checked full length here and then if I select the polyline it will give you the complete length of the polyline which is 412.6. 
which you can then place anywhere you want. So this length annotation tool is pretty comprehensive and versatile. You can configure it the way you want to achieve the results you want. On the command line you can run it using cp underscore length text or on the menu you get it from the annotation tool. Now next to the length annotation tool there is also an area annotation tool which is very very similar to the length annotation tool except that it reports the area. Now for reporting areas obviously you need to have a closed curve which means a closed polyline or a circle or a closed spline will do. So for example I have three closed polylines here and I'm going to report the area of these polylines and attach it to these labels here. So let's go to settings and check if the system the parameters are what we want so the area is fine all this is okay we don't want to modify the area so we leave it as it is text height is 10 so we pick the area object and you can see the annotation area is 5698.48 and then we pick the text here so that gets updated with the area so I pick this there. so in this way you can annotate the area of a polyline and assign them to an existing text or create a new text. Now let us see how the length modifier tool works. So we start the length tool again. So I pick, I go to settings and I say picked segment length and I'm going to say modify DWG length or area. Now you can see that here I have labeled this segment with a value of 65.38 which is the actual value but let us say I want to apply a length modifier so I'm going to choose this option and I'm going to say let us say feet to meter so what feet to meter means is that this 65.38 is considered as a dimension in feet and it is converted to meter before it is reported so let's see how it works so I select this so you can see now the original length is 65.38 but the annotation length will be 19.93 after applying feet to meter conversion. So I create a new text. So that's how you create a text annotation of length with the lengths modified. So it supports a number of standard units conversion and it also supports uh, arithmetic operators which means you can just either scale up, scale down, add or subtract from the existing length. So this is typically useful when drawings are drawn at a different scale. So the four options are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now this command works identically in BricsCAD as well and is available in the same location as in uh, AutoCAD. So uh, under the annotation tools. So I hope you find this command useful do let me know if you have any questions or feedback and we are always open to suggestions from our users to make this command better thank you for watching this video and have a good day